right, to the Grand so, Tour. So the moment of truth. Well, yes. Oh. Here it is. Welcome. <laughs> oh. Hold on, I'm taking it in. <laughs> okay, so we have French doors here. Was this once a bedroom? See, that's the dilemma that we had yes. first coming into this. This just didn't make sense. We're like... Okay, so it doesn't have a closet. So it was just yeah. a, a den, perhaps. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this is a two-bedroom, two-bath. So oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so we can do something so... with this. This was the exterior part of the house. This was a patio right here. There was oh. a, a double French door here, and there was this wall, and that was the kitchen. So you guys opened it up. And we made it part of the living space. Is that an electric meter? That's because this was yeah. the outside. I was trying to hide it. Right? Oh, I was like, wait a minute. All right, well, let's continue to the rest of the home. A grand kitchen is always a selling point for a buyer. So it already had some things the previous owner had done, but it's kind of not finished. So are you adding or removing the stove from right here? Uh, well, the that vent was that, there? Yeah, yes, it was, it was, it was there. Okay. That was there, yeah. What style are you going for? Uh, we're not quite sure. This tour has just begun, and I'm seeing red flags in every single room. And one of them, you can't even call a bedroom, as it has no closet. But without me, they'll be here another nine months, barely breaking even, just like their prior two flips. I mean, the But style... there's electrical. So I'm yes, seeing the yes. good in the challenging, right. okay? All right, before we go to the bathroom, actually, I want to point out this wall right here. Yeah. I was thinking accent wall. You know, accent walls are huge right now. And if we do a nice accent wall, I feel like it would be a nice entry because, you know, there's not a lot of space. I'm so, thinking of your open ceiling back there. So just a thought. This is the restroom. I mean, this is where your expertise is going to come in. We got to use this space. This is bathroom one, right? This is bathroom one. OK. Look at this beauty. So what's nice is that it actually has access to the back. OK, this is a really good size bedroom. Over here is the bathroom. We like the space in here, you know? So this I feel is like... great space. And I know this is here, but uh, probably you can help us out. I love that you guys are open and not married to any of this. Today, I'm meeting Mitch at the house. We want to get this front door moved over to make room for that new third bedroom, as well as supervise the concreting of the back steps up to the water tower, and of course, up to the flipper's sexy gazebo. Hey, you guys. Nice. What? Are we about to pour some concrete? We got a little bit of news. Well, how is everybody? I'm scared uh, right now. <laughs> What's wrong? We ran into some issues, and we My have... My heart is racing right now. We have no water. One of the lines uh, broke, and that's going to put us in a setback with the paint and the concrete and a lot of other things that we were supposed to get done today. Uh, well, we ran out of water, right? So we call the company, and uh, when they come and ply it to the hydrant, the pipe bust. So there's no they water can't. and the pipe burst. Right. Oh, my goodness. So and no plumbers want to touch it, or they're trying to... We already called three sure plumbers. Don't. At this point, we have to find other solutions, and we're on it. So let me show you what this is look like for you. I was excited <laughs> to see the framing part all up and ready to go. Well, yeah. the guys were ready for concrete. Like, we were planning it today. The guy came and hooked us the hydrant, yep. and here's where the pipe burst. Wow. We don't know where it's at. We don't know in what direction it's at. They were thinking it's going that direction or that direction, maybe. We need to find out if we're going to go in this direction or we're just going to have to repipe everything again and connect it to the water supply. Because okay, you're not exactly sure at what point. It's going to be a missing get. I mean, we're going to be wasting somewhere. time. Wow, this is, this is huge. Like, this, this could be a $10,000 project. I know we have a lot going on right now. We're stalled in a lot of places, but this might be a good time to talk about the kitchen. Yes, yes. And I know you guys really wanted to try to save these cabinets, which at first I thought was a great idea until we started changing things around. And when Mitch thought that it'd be better to have the stove here, which means we'd have to move the dishwasher, right. put the refrigerator here, right. that changes the whole footprint. Can these cabinets even be painted well? Yes. You know they're laminate, right? Yes. But if we change the footprint of the kitchen... I think we could just modify it, honestly. So, yeah, you'll have to modify this cabinet to fit the dishwasher in over here. Yeah. So what is the cost to modify everything versus just getting a whole new layout for the kitchen? It triples the price. 
Ultimately, this is your home. This is your flip. And we have got to, especially now with all of the mishaps today, now we're at a standstill with spending any extra money. We are potentially facing a significant plumbing bill if the leak can't be found easily. But new cabinets don't cost three times what it costs to paint and try to reconfigure old ones, especially with the most bargain ones we can afford on this budget. OK. The magic spray, spray the pan. The magic spray can. Now we can see. All right. Meanwhile, the one thing this kitchen has always lacked was a nice center island. You know it's going to be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 12 inch overhang there. That would be six feet. There you go. I like it. OK. That's it. It's done. So let's talk about our eyesore over here, you guys, right? Yeah, OK. So let me say this. You can't have an electric panel inside the living area of a house. That's just not to cope but it's completely legal to disclose this kind of situation to a buyer. And with our tight budget and an estimate of several months just to get a city permit, we would eat into our profit as well as my 30-day timeline. So we'll properly disclose to buyers, but make it look pretty in the meantime. We could build like a cabinet. Like a little cabinet on the bottom with a little top and some shelves. Right. And shelves. then just a set of doors up top. I like that approach because we have uh, a use and purpose for that. All right, Sounds yeah, like a plan. All right, yeah, let's team break. Let's All go. Right. <laughs> Our budget lucked out. We thought the water leak was serious because it could have been anywhere with this unknown water tank configuration. But a local plumber found and fixed the leak for just a couple of hundred bucks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. After several days of applying Francesca's white dove paint to the outside, Gus and Miguel called saying they have a big surprise for me on the inside. We got a surprise for you. Be careful, okay. please. Be, be careful. careful. Yes, yes, Watch your Miguel. step. On the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three, let's go. Let's go. What? Wait, the cabinets are gone? <laughs> So it really made the best sense to get rid of them, yeah. especially after what your painter said about what was like a particle board. Yeah, you know, when you paint those, he says that they were not going to come out right. Yeah. Some parts were going to be bubbly. Some others, the painting was just not going to hurt right. So. Yeah, because they were like new old cabinets. They weren't the upgraded cabinets that you really want to see right. in a house with this type of transformation from the right. flip. Right. I noticed yeah. I noticed something happened. I was just quiet. <laughs> I was, was like, so we're going to cut into the cabinets to yeah. move the dishwasher, to fit the refrigerator, exactly. to move the stove. Yeah. OK. Really? And sometimes you have to acquiesce like that. OK. You know, we're all partners, know, you know, <laughs> but I love that you were able to, you know, really think about it and see and do yeah. the numbers. Sometimes I got to marinate a little bit and then it sinks in. I've worked with people long enough where I just go, okay, okay. <laughs> but when they circle back with a surprise like this, now this is yeah. truly, I feel like it's Christmas. I don't typically like when flippers make big moves without me because that's a risk. But when they come back to my initial suggestion, I'll take that all day. I knew the simple shaker cabinets I wanted were inexpensive and easy for us to install. Flippers completely forget about labor costs. Paying to alter, repair, and repaint old cabinets adds up. And in this case, brand new is cheaper and will look better. Let's check out outside. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> it looks so good. OK, these stairs are everything. Amazing, right? Amazing. Lights to go up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and look at the water tank is covered. I mean, kudos, you guys. It, it just looks amazing. This is now really a backyard that can be used well, and it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, these flippers really know what they're doing. Yes, they lack the layout and a design plan, but once it was set, they can manage their framers, concreters, plumbers, drywallers, you name it, they've got it. Of course, this bomb shelter might be another story. What did he do? He just made a Actually, little yeah. cut where? Actually, yeah, there's a small cut so right you there. can be able to okay. bend so them. can bend them. Yeah, okay. and okay. give the nice curb right. to this. We're going to give you the honors. All right. OK, here we go. Ready? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, you didn't do it on the other side, though. There you go. Gus, you have to do the glue all the way around. Gus, you have to glue it all the way around. <laughs> OK, well. <laughs> uh, it's coming off. <laughs> it's already coming off. We're going to need more glue. This might be more involved than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. Well, we had to leave the bulk of the wine barrel staves to others with more dexterity. Apparently, wood soaked in wine just doesn't want to glue to old metal. Ah, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh. Miguel and Gus, we are here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have come so far. 
this is amazing. This house looks so good. When I first came and met you guys the very first day, like, let's just shimmy. Let's yes. just, let's yeah, just stroll just a little bit. Over here. The front door was <laughs> right here. here. So you got the house for 410000 And when I came, you had a renovation budget of 70000 but you had only spent fifteen. Right, yeah. And thank you guys for trusting me oh, yeah. to even carry you through. This was a really hard house. This was not an easy flip. It just turned out amazing. You guys brought me in, but I like to bring in some partners that I have in real estate so that we can really make sure we're on target with the valuation of this house. Okay. So my friend and colleague in my brokerage, Crystal Williams, is coming, and she should be here. There she is! Oh my God, I literally just said your name. This is Crystal Williams, Crystal, Miguel, and nice Gus, nice the flippers of this wonderful home. I want to know from yeah. Crystal exactly what she thinks because Great. Crystal's the one that's bringing us all these buyers. That's okay. right. <laughs> so, we like buyers. We like buyers, right? I like, so, I like a good offer. So I'll walk her through and then I'll come and get you guys when we get done. All right. Sounds okay. Good. Sounds good. All, yeah. right. all right. Enjoy the tour. Welcome to our flip. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. It's stunning. And it's so open in here and so bright. And you know what, in all of the colors in here, it's deserty, but it's so chic and very modern. This is something that a lot of buyers would love. Thank you. <laughs> so we took down this wall. We opened it up so we could have a nice open concept. So right where we're standing when I first came, this was the office that they call the bedroom. And it looked horrible. And you know, you just don't want to walk into a front door and then immediately be faced with another door. This is so beautiful what you guys have done with that. I'm glad they didn't go with that concept. This one <laughs> works really well. So let me tell you about this cabinet that you see. Okay. It's very interesting. When I came, the flippers had enclosed an exterior patio. And enclosed in that cabinet is the electric meter. Wow, really? But because of the expense, the flippers decided not to move the electric meter outside, so a new buyer with full disclosure could get the permits and spend the money to move the meter outside. It's okay, as long as it's disclosed, right. the buyers would be fine with that. It's yeah. beautiful. Good. I would never know unless you said something. Okay, yeah. good. That's something I've never worked out before, but it worked <laughs> out. Great job. So let's go into the kitchen okay. area. Gorgeous. I love this kitchen. When we came, there were newer cabinets here, but they weren't pretty. They were very cheap, and it really wasn't going with the flow of how a kitchen should be set up. I love the color in here. This just flows Thank so you. good with the house. And again, it has that feeling like you are in Santa Clarita area, so it matches what the buyers are looking for right now. Nice. Well, let's go on the rest of the tour, okay. but let me stop you here. When I first came, this was all wall space. It was a oh, huge wow. open hallway of just wasted space. This is wow. where we put the third bedroom. You yes. know, we have it staged as a nursery, mm -hmm. but when a buyer moves in, if they want to use it as an office, they can, right. an exercise room. It is beautiful, and it's such a nice space, too. Perfect size. Good. I love this. Now, over here is the hall back, okay. Crystal. Well, look at the chevron tile in there. Oh, yeah, and the van vanity. I was just going to say, like this it? vanity is so great. It's so modern. It just fits perfectly in this space. And you know, when we buy the shower heads and you know the shower handles and everything, people think that they're so expensive. Right, they look very expensive. They do, and they're not. They're a couple hundred dollars. This is the second bedroom. Wow, this is so gorgeous. This is exactly what my buyers are looking for. And this bedroom also didn't have a closet. Really? The previous owners built a makeshift closet. Okay. That darkened the room mm -hmm. and just made the room really bulky. They were afraid that if we added this closet that it would take away from the space. Okay. But it does not take no. a foot away. Not at all. Everything about this is just gonna draw a buyer in. So now we come into the primary bedroom. Another big room. Yes. Wow. We kept this room as is. And you know, and now seeing this, that it is an actual true three bedroom, this is so great for my buyers. We have families, they're looking to move in and have that space. This is perfect for them. 